hello guys welcome back to Tutronics. if you're new to the channel welcome in this video we are going to be doing ordinary level computer science paper 3 and this is november 2022 section so in this video i'm just going to be covering the section a which is the programming section which consists of 50 marks so i've already done the database and the web designing and these videos are already on this channel but they will be public next week so make sure you have subscribed for the notifications so by the end of this video, you should be able to make an application that will multiply two numbers and get the products. And should be also able to make an application that will convert the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You should also be able to make a calculator that will add, multiply, subtract, and divide. And you should also be able to make up an application that will add two numbers and get the sum uh and the sum will be displayed on the text box and also on the message box so before we get started just a quick shout out to Judotronics. you can join our whatsapp and facebook groups where we can share resources where you can ask questions and get answers and everyone can participate in these groups and you can also follow me on instagram and tiktok so i just recently started these platforms so please make sure that you follow this community uh so that we can get all the fun we can have so now let's get started uh, the first question says write a program which accepts two numbers and output their product so i'll open visual studio now okay so new project here and for this one i could use a console application because we are not required to have an interface so I'll just make this question simple anyway. So we're going to select Windows from application. Uh, and um, this is question one. And I will say products of two numbers. Okay. Okay, so here I'll click on the toolbox then I'll search for the tools that I want. So the first tool that I'll need is a text box. And the other tool that I'll need is a label. And the other tool that I also need is a button. Okay, so I'll just get everything that I want, then I'll just duplicate. Okay, so I'll move the label here. And I'll need three labels and three text boxes. So I'll just highlight the label and the text box then ctrl c for copy ctrl v for pasting ctrl v again for pasting and now i'll change the label name sorry the label text so we have the text and we also have the name so these things are two different things but uh here i'm just going to change the, the text for the labels so uh we want to change this to first number and the other one um i'll change the text again here down here to second number so you could name you could change the text to whatever you want you could actually just say number one then number two whatever you feel comfortable with so now i'll just highlight these text boxes and i'll increase the length and i want to change now this uh, label I'll change this to products because uh, this is where we have the products in this text box so I'll just also increase the, the length of this text box now for the text boxes we don't change the text we change the names so I'll go down to the name part and then I'll change this from text box to txt and I'll change that to num one and press enter and do the same for the second text box i'll say txt then num to end and this one i'll change also to txt then products and then this one now so i'm going to change the text for this button here and i'm just going to paste that multiply and press enter and then i'll change the i'll change the the name of the button so this time is btn underscore then i'll just paste paste the multiply and click enter then now we have to style our form so for styling our form 
what can we do about that um, I'll first highlight everything then ctrl x for cutting then I'll select the two that I love so much we just go to a panel and I just paste it down here then I'll drag the corner so that this panel will become bigger click inside the panel ctrl v for pasting yeah so now um i'll click the panel again and change the border style here under the properties section and i'll change this to fix 3d yeah i love that step and now i'll change the fonts i'll change the fonts of these labels so i have highlighted the labels and also the button font oh, let me deselect the button and just select the labels and i'll change the font here and for the font what could make sense what is it that, I have that makes sense okay give me something here i think i think i think this one looks cute uh, but anyways let me select something which is simple this one is good i just put to bold 12 is okay yeah something like that and now for the button i'll also change the font of this button and i saw something which uh, stands or is a common one let me i will also advise you to look for fonts but it's not a big deal actually it's not actually yeah like you could download more fonts like this one it's not a common one but it will look nice okay i'll change this to font skating okay so now i'll change the button uh, styling so i'll come down to flat style here and i'll change this to pop up yeah that one yeah so what else are we supposed to do here i think i could also have a label here which you act like a header for us mm, let me find a label i'll just put the label here and in my microsoft word i'll just say um, products I will just do the same again. I want to uppercase here. Control X for cutting. Then um, I'm going to change the text here. I'll paste this here, and now I'll change the font. So I want something like um, I think stands will just do fine. Stands will just do fine, and font casting. Let me increase the font size. I'll increase the font size to 22, I think. Yeah, 22 will be fine. Product of two numbers. Then our form is looking nice now. Our form is looking nice now. So now um, I'll double click inside this button. Double click. And now we have a button. So uh, from the question, we are required to to enter two numbers and to give the output the product uh, as an output so what we're going to do is to to create variables so the first variable is the the variable that is going to hold the first number so this variable i will just say num1 or num1 like this and sorry about that as integer and this and I will also need another variable which will be num2 as integer again and we also need um, another variable which is um, which will be the product right as integer yeah so um, what we know is that we're going to have the, the first number from this text box and the second number from, from this text box so what we could easily do we could actually just uh, initialize these variables by giving them the values from the text boxes so i can say txt and this is txt number one dot text 
so that we could have the, the, the text inside the text, text box number one. Okay, I'll do the same here also. Txt num two dot text. Yeah. So now the products. For the product, product is equal to num one multiplied by num two. So for the multiplied by, I use the asterisk here. The asterisk which you normally find on the eight eight button on the keyboard. So you press shift and click on eight and then we have the product now we need to display that product uh, inside the, the text box output so i'll just say txt um products is equal to products and like that a value type integer cannot be converted to system windows from text box okay so uh i forgot to change this to txt dot text like that so we want the text uh, of the text box product to have this value so that's what you do there and we kind of need another button here so i just copied uh, this button and pasted this button so i'll change the the, the, the text here to clear then i'll change the name I change the name of this button to btn uh, btn clear so i want this button to clear of uh, these text boxes when i'm done so i'll just say txt num one dot text i'll empty that out and txt num two dot text empty that out again in txt products dot text empty that again and save that then i will run my program so there we have it so we first enter the first number two I start with the simple number and four and if i click multiply we have eight there. that's the product so if i click on clear everything is going to be cleared and then I can say 54 times 76 you multiply that is our answer so for the first equation 10 marks we knew that so let's go for the question number two and I just click on file then new um, oh sorry this is still running I'll stop that so file then new then project okay so this one we select windows from application again why because we are required to create an interface like this oh so the following is an interface for you know, to find the sum of two numbers okay so first number second number then we we need the sum then complete sum this is a button design an interface as shown above write a program uh, write a program code to add two numbers uh, then the output should be displayed in both the text box and message box in the format as shown okay so the sum this is the formula for the sum and we are supposed to display what output should be displayed in the text box and the message box in the format okay so print the code interface and screenshot okay so that part i'll show you how you can do that okay so let's start by uh clicking on windows form application now change the name so this is question two question two and sum of two numbers this question was so so simple okay so we are going to do the same again so first instead of uh, I just start by putting a panel. The panel will just make everything um, just look a bit nice. So if you play around with the panel most of your time, your program is, will look nice. So the border still fixed 3D, change that, and then um, I will need a text box. Text box and I will need a level 
and I will need a button. Oh, sorry, I clicked um, the wrong part here, though. And I will need a button, a button, and what? That's all I think. Okay. So I'll just copy everything. Control C for copying. Control V for pasting. Like that, and drag this button down with help. Okay, so um, I'll drag this button like this. Okay, now I'll change the text here Com to compute some. Then I'll also change the, the name here. So BT, BT, and then I'll paste that in. But then we cannot use spaces. So I can use an underscore there. I'll just do like this it's still fine so i'll just leave it like that and press enter then this one i'll change the label and the label i'll change the text not the name so this one will be first number and this one will be second number second number then this one will be some yeah um let's check our interface yeah it's supposed to look like that okay so um let me just make this text box a little bit longer and i'll change the the fonts here change the fonts so for the fonts this one will look, look nice and I think bold will be fine and 12 okay for this one the font for this will be um, let me select the best font for that one for that one for that one okay let me try this one uh, let me try another one something different this one this way then yeah now it's looking nice okay i'll just reduce the size a little bit or oh, i can increase the, the the size of this okay so i also need to change the the flaster here i can change this to pop up okay so now changing the names i can change the name there then this will be txt txt num num1 txt num1 press enter then this one will be txt txt num2 press enter then this one will be the txt sum press enter then i'll just double click inside this button then we will create variables so the first one will be for the num1 as integer and i'll initialize that as we did on the previous question so to txt num1 dot text and we'll do the same num2 as integer and do the same by initializing that uh, dot text then our sum now sorry about that sum so we need to create a variable actually so dim sum as integer and sum is equal to num1 plus num2 yeah like that then now we need to display that and um, to do that we do txt sum dot text is equal to sum Got to some okay but we also have been told that um we should also we should out the, the output should be displayed in both the text box and the message box in the format shown below okay so the sum is they say okay let's do that 
we need a message box now to display the sum so i'll just say message box dot show display the value of the sum like that but then i will need to change some things later so let's run this program it doesn't look nice it doesn't look nice at all let's fix that so something is missing here we need another label here and i'll change the text here then i'll change the font i'll change the font i need um i need a nice font this this is not bad this is not bad at all so 22 let's see 22 or oh, 24 actually 24 okay um let me just increase the the length i think the height okay so now our form i think it still doesn't look nice but it's better now so let's try that let's say 12 and 12 that should give us 24 so we have an error there conversion of string okay so this error we need to fix it right away so if this was a number and a number we could use the add sign but since this one is a string we can use the end sign right if, uh, if this was a string and a string we could actually use the string so i'll run this again so 12 and 12 we should get 24 we get 24 with l and the sum here 24 so we could actually change also the the text here so uh, let me close this quickly so i could say sum of then i'll put an end sign here and uh, num one then i'll put an end sign again and say end here then we put an end again and num two then we add another part we say is okay this needs to be spaced out okay we need spaces inside here we also need spaces inside here and okay let's run that let's see what we do have so let's say 32 and 32 that should give us 64 and now our message something like sum of 32 and 32 is 64 okay so that does look nice okay so with this i bet we got all of our answers so now there's this part we say print the code interface this is what you actually just do for every question but let me just quickly show you the best way to do it so uh, you have to click the on the snipping tool so if you just tap snipping there's this uh tool which is uh, in windows 2 which you find on your pc which is a snipping tool if you just click on that you can have this part which say new and you can crop these parts you can crop the codes parts and save that so um and also do the same i'll just run this and i'll print this part also and save that so interface save that part now um what you have to do now is to navigate to your to your question and you you would normally just drag the, the the picture and put it here and then you would explain what you have done what was all that uh, simple stuff so that's what you do for every question actually yeah so now let's go for question number three the following is an interface for a simple calculator okay so design the interface as shown above write a program code to calculate the sum product difference and quotient of the two numbers in it 
if the it, it should display the result in the message box as far as the sum is okay so the message box should display the, these first two words and then the value then print the code interface and the screenshots of the results okay oh so let's do that 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 we will create on file then new then project okay sorry about that file new project okay so this one is a calculator i hope that's the correct spelling there so this is question what is question question three calculator then windows form application again because we're using an interface then okay so just quickly make this interface and we need um, a panel that is the geotronics router always use the panel always use the panel and we need the text box we need the text box and we will need a level we need a level we also need buttons okay and um i think i will need another panel another panel here and i just put it down here then drag it make it a little bit small from the interface we are supposed to have the plus multiply subtract then okay the question let's do that so our button mm, i need to say that, that okay so first thing i'll change the the plus tag here to pop up then i'll just control control c for copying control v for pasting then i just drag this oh I actually didn't do anything. Control C for copy. Control V for pasting. Okay, now, now it's working. Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, and we have our main buttons there. We have one, two, three, four, four buttons. We need four buttons, and we have four buttons. So I'll just arrange these buttons like this. And now we need to change the button, the, the sorry, the panels. So select this panel and this panel. So you can hold control to select uh, two things. So I'll change the border style here and I'll change it to fixed 3D. Then uh, that is already starting to look a bit nice. Um, okay, so let me change the, let me change the width here change the width here okay something like this let me check the, the interface so we have first number second number and result okay copy this control c control v for pasting control c control v control c control v yeah now um since our output will be the this sum is then obviously for for the for the product is it has to change like to be like the product is so wow 12 marks yeah that will require some time for you though that will require some time okay so um let's do that quickly let's do that quickly i actually didn't s s s saw that part coming so i'll select this um text box and highlight and change the the, the width here and this i'll just leave them short since the numbers won't need that much of space since the numbers won't need that much of space so um our interface here it says result so i'll change the label text here to result and this one first number like that and the name there is no need for me to change the name okay let's do the same for the second label and um 
we can say seconds number like that then now let me change the fonts so for the fonts for the fonts for the fonts for the fonts um, I need something decent in the fonts so you don't have to copy exactly the font that I have used you can just select any font that you want so this would look nice for me and I think 14 no 12 let me use uh, 14 is good 14 is good 14 is good okay so this is a bit weird let me have this like this yeah it don't look bad that way okay i'll just leave it like this okay now let me change the font for these buttons mm, first before i do that let me just um change the text here so the first one is i think it's an ad let me check yes the first one is an ad so the second one is a is a multiply so they use an asterisk though i don't know if we yeah we just use an asterisk or so but that doesn't look nice i could just have used um, i could just have used an x and that will show that it's a multiplication but anyways let's just copy exactly as the the question wants us to do then we have the the subtract the subtraction sign and we also have the this one okay so let's change the fonts of these buttons so we need the a big font for this for this to show um I'll go with the uh, 36 and uh, which which font can make sense here? Uh, let me see, just choose something simple here. Okay, this is not bad actually. This is not bad at all, except it's a bit ugly to my opinion. To my my eyes this is not good at all okay the font is ugly let me try to find something better here the font is not working let me try this ah that is worse that is just worse okay let me how about this one how about that one okay this one this one is not bad this one is not bad okay so we need another label we need another label label and third one we have to say calculator like that but i don't know if i've copied that and paste that in here and also i have to change the font and for the font, I need something fancy. This would just do the trick. Uh, regular is fine. Regular is fine. And voila. Calculator. Okay. Like that. I double clicked on the form which I should have done. So I'll just remove this part and go back to my form. So now i have to change this button to change that uh, we will have to change the name i need to change the name actually so btn this one is the ed ah, it makes sense saying like something like ed ed btn yeah it makes sense to me like 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 that it sounds better like that so it's weird okay and sub tricks pt 
GN and coefficient. Um, quotient. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I just said coefficient. Okay, so quotient PTN. Uh, we must have violated the rule the PT quotient. I think yeah the spaces I copied with the spaces then underscore ptn like that I have to change the text also so the txt and that one is um num one and this one is txt txt num two and this one is the result so txt result okay okay now for the fun part let's now get into the the, the code which will display the products uh, the sum the subtrahend and the quotient so i'll double click on this first button which we do the addition so we will need variables so the first one will be num1 as integer and we can initialize that quickly so we can say is this equal to txt num one dot text dot text and do the same for num2 as integer and initialize that to num2 text why because we need the, the values of the of the text this text box to be inside these variables so for the sum we need the variable sum as integer as integer so we all know that the sum is equal to the first number add to the second number so we can display that now to the results and we have to display the result as the sum is as required by the question paper and we can put an and sign there so that we could put the sum in front so let's check if that is working let's run this and if we have 12 and 12 we click add we get the sum so we want to do the same for the multiplication subtrahend and uh, uh, the, the the question so i will do the same here i'll just double click in here and copy everything and put this down here so this is multiplication i'll just change the sign here and this is no longer sum this is product and since it is product since the product we also have to change this part to pro and change this to product like that okay uh, let's also do the same for the subtrahend so I'll just change this also to products and copy everything and paste this one here so for subtraction i'll just change this one and change these parts this variable so this subtrahend so i'll just copy that and place the product variable and replace the product variable and also change this parts so the result of um, two numbers subtracted is called the subtrahend so that is why i said subtrahend here so let's do the same also for the quotient and i will just copy everything here and paste and do it and divide yeah just like that and now we have to check I'll just copy this and paste this here and paste this here and paste that 
here also and press that here also like that and i think we done here let's see if our program is working fine so if i have 12 and 2 addition of that oh there's actually something okay the multiplication the product is 24 subtraction uh, the subtraction is 10 division the question is 6 so our program is working fine so you could now take the screenshot using the snipping tool so another trick here is for you to pin that so let's say you you type snipping tool after you have opened the snipping tool you can just come here and right click and you find the pin part i've already pinned mine so that is why it is saying unpin from the test file okay so question number three is done let's check question number four the following is an interface for converting degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit uh, so this is the formula for getting the Fahrenheit wow and this is the interface that we are supposed to come up with so design the interface as shown above write program code to convert degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit print the code interface and the screenshots of the results okay just like that so let's do file new then projects windows form application and this program what could we call it so convert degrees to Fahrenheit I'll just you know as if I'm in an exam I would need all the time I could get so I just copy things like that so I'll change the name to that is question 4 and just paste this okay we went too far converting degrees I'll just leave the name to converting degrees like this I think this time we are allowed to do that so to make sure that everything is working fine let me just try okay so we are good we are good to go so our interface we have the temperature in celsius then fahrenheit then we have the button convert so this is a simple interface and the electronics rule we always say we need a panel to make everything to make our forms look decent so the panel and we also need the labels we also need the labels and um, there is this label which i would use for the header and i will also need the text box here okay so i clicked this by mistake i'm sorry about that so we need a text box and i will also need a button but for now let me just copy this and I've selected the label and the text box Ctrl C for copying, Ctrl V for pasting, and we also need a button. Button. Okay, so a button. Okay, so I think this is everything that we need on the phone. So temperature. Let's try to do that. to tell you the truth the reason why i have microsoft word open is because i sucks uh, when it comes to spellings i am really really not good at spellings so you have to forgive me that okay so i'll just change the te text here and this one if i remember well the lab was something like temp in in Celsius, let me confirm that. Okay, temp in Celsius, and we also need the Fahrenheit. I'll just copy this. Oh, for you guys, you, you'll be in the exam and you would not have this in form of software, uh, so you you would have to type you have to type actually for me this is just simple for me because i'm just copying and also i suck at spelling studies why this is actually 
fair for us. This is actually fair for me. Okay, so um, we need the button convert. Convert. Can I copy that? Can I copy that? Can I copy that text? Yeah. So uh, this document actually is in form of image, but um, my browser is trying to convert the, the, the text from the images. So convert. I bet that is not the correct spelling. Ah, that was actually correct. Convert. Okay. So that is all that we need for our form there. So the first thing that we do is to change the font. I'll change the font and look for something decent. Something I think I found it. This should look nice. This should look nice in the bold Italy in 12. Okay. You have to admit that it actually does look nice. Okay, so let's look for the font. I didn't use elephant today. Elephant. Let's try elephant. And I'll just go with 20. 20 is okay. Then I'll select the, the, the panel and change the border cell to fix the 3D, then convert this one. Uh, change the flat style here of the button to pop up. Okay, just like that. So my form is looking good. I bet it is looking good. So now we have to change the names. So I'll change the name of this text box. So I can say TXT Celsius TXT Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now for this one, I'm just going to copy the spelling here because I know I'm just going to mess it up. So I copy the spelling from this label and I just click now on the text and change the name of the text box. Please don't tell anyone that I'm, I suck at spellings because that would be much embarrassing. Okay, so the this button is to btn and convert like that. Like this, we are good to go. So, I have to change the font of this button before I double click the button and the font now. Usually, for the buttons, I would like to use the. Oh, there is this cool font that I just passed by. This should. This is cool. So, if you want these fonts, uh, I will try to leave the the links of these fonts in the description below okay so yeah now our form is working decent let's look at the formula so to come up with the fahrenheit you have to say 32 plus the celsius times okay so just copy everything like this copy and just come to the double click the button I'll paste this here. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's quickly create the variables Fahrenheit as in the year. And we also need the Celsius. Then Celsius as, Celsius as in the year and we have to initialize the celsius because we are give, being given that already so the celsius is equals to txt 
Celsius to the text. Okay, so this is an equal sign, right? And that is nine nine divided by five. Okay, so that is nine divided by five, and we don't need this. So our formula is done there. Now let's just display the the result. So we can say txt Fahrenheit dot text is equals to Fahrenheit. Okay, so let me confirm this. Our formula here is saying that uh, the temperature that we have in Celsius is supposed to add it to 32, but after multiplying it with uh, with 9 5. Did we do that? Yeah, we are multiplying Celsius times 9 5, 5 then we add 32. So let's run this now. And let's say we have 45 degrees convert that. So I will just need to confirm this because I'm not sure of the of the I'm opening my chrome here. So I'll just say um, 45 the degrees. confirm that yeah one three three so that is the angle so we no longer need the compass so meaning that this is working ah, what, left, what is left for us to do what is left for us to do what is left for us to do now question five this is a web design question and i've already done the video for this so the videos are on my channel make sure you have subscribed to the channel so this was it guys this is the wrap up of this uh, video and i hope to see you on my next videos